Hmm. Characteristics of a healthy leader. Well, I think one of the, the, um, the one of the first things I think about when I think about well, a, a healthy leader. Um, well, hopefully, you know, the leader can take care of their body so they can be healthy. Um, and uh, I think good leaders, great leaders, um, are great followers. And um, I think great or healthy leaders, hopefully, are very sensitive. I mean, if I imagine an ideal leader, it's someone who's very sensitive. Um, sensitive to themselves, first of all, you know. Uh, I think for anybody, no matter what they're doing, I mean, because leadership is such a multifaceted, multidimensional kind of uh, uh, exploration, experience, uh, object. I think for anybody um, to be healthy and to lead, it's good to um, look into yourself and ask questions to yourself, ask tough questions to yourself, to try to get to who you really are. A leader can, I mean, you can be a leader of anything, a healthy leader, you know, you could be the leader of, uh, of a country, you could be the leader of a mob, you know what I mean? There's so many different types of leaders. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you're a leader trying to lead people in some sort of positive direction, uh, well, I think it's important for you to have some perspective on who you are and to continually ask yourself tough questions about who you are. There's going to be a lot of questions asked of you if you're a leader. There's going to be a lot of demands from you. As they say, to whom much is given, much is required. So um, I think it's good for anybody in a leadership position to take care of themselves and find ways to um, have a healthy mind, body, and spirit. And if you want to practice leadership, practice following somebody who is a good leader as closely as you can and listen to yourself. Ask yourself questions. You know, when I was a kid, somebody told me something one day. They said, you know, I think I was about 15 or 16 years old, and he was one of my greatest mentors. He said, you, you're a kid. Look at you. You're going to school every day, and you do whatever your little functions are that you do before school or after school, you know, with your family, with your friends you know, whatever your religious activities may or may not be. And in those years, what the guy said, like, you, you have a lot of different faces, you know? You have your talking to your teacher, talking to your teacher mask. You have your hanging out with your smart friends mask. You have your hanging out with those, you know, like walking through your neighborhood mask, your, with your family, your, 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 your parents' mask, your going to church or to the mosque or to synagogue mask. You, you have all these different ones. You know, like, how do you get closer to only having one face? You know, you don't have to switch face every time you go somewhere. Just one face. Well, the question is, what is that face? And you, you know, you have to sometimes go into your, your bedroom and, you know, understand what all these faces are you're dealing with, you know, and figure out why you have so many different faces. Bring it to one. Then, of course, you're asking yourself questions about yourself now, right? Uh, good luck.